together, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome them into the ring. And Mohamed Nikwe Aite will be led by his ring walk by the man Keddy. Put your hands together. Tiani, bro.
making up the Jamestown Fight Night put together by Wind Base Promotions. And now, let's all remember that all of the fights here tonight are sanctioned by Ghana Boxing Authority, led by its president, Lawyer Peter Swedis, the Secretary General, Patrick Johnson, Fight Supervisor, Lord Akwe, Chairman of Promotions, Rabon Dodu, the Bellman and Timekeeper, Edward Addo, Clock of Skills, Roger Bano, Master Scorekeeper, Patrick Johnson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, judges for this bout, Shadrach Akwe, May Mensa Akako, and Clement Ashaw. And in the center of the ring is the man with several decorations from all sanctioning bodies relevant around the world of boxing, referee Roger Bano. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the boxer fighting out of the blue corner. Registering his professional debut tonight, ladies and gentlemen, he fights out of the willpower gym here in Accra. Nicknamed the Iron Boy and coming in with verve and energy, put your hands together as we welcome Icy Aite. And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, Coming in as the golden boy of boxing tonight, gone three professional fights, all three by way of knockout, and fighting tonight out of the Sea View Gym here in Accra. Ladies and gentlemen, with a big round of applause, help me welcome Mohammed Ni Ayikwe. Over, ladies and gentlemen, to the man, Roger Bano. Good evening, guys. The great, great soft call. The very man command is the middle of the world. So, the penultimate fight here, Mohamed Ni Ayikwe Ayete. It's a flyweight contest. He has three fights to his record, all with victories. 18 years old, and he's fighting a debutant. Isaac Ayete, 22 years old, in the white and black trunks. It promises fireworks because the two pugilists have promised to slug it out. Let's see what they have up their sleeves. Both boxes are exuding a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Indeed, an action packed, a give and take. Both boxers not fearing each other. For Isaac Ayete, this is his first time going professional and he's fighting somebody who has three experiences in the ring, three fights to his credit. And he seems not to be afraid. And he's giving his best shots.
this is a six round contest. Let's see what they have up their sleeves. Some good jabs there. Serious energy being displayed here. Champ, what, what do you make of um, Isaac Aite? First timer fighting. Somebody who has three fights to his credit. At least familiar with the rings. You look at his energy. Yeah, I think. I think. Uh, Isaac Aite is doing good. But he will find himself in a very tight corner because uh, Mohamed uh, is not coming into play and I think uh, I've watched Mohamed fight before. It's very good. It, it, determ uh, it sometimes uh, control you in the ring and show you what to do and what you should not do. And so I think Mohamed Aite is, uh, is very doing a very good job. I think I think I've I heard that they have also fight in amateur before. Wow. Yeah, and so So there is a score to be settled. Yeah. Just look at the 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 energy, the power. Both of them have have, have meant this this fight. And they are ready to show us something, and so <laughs> we should we should watch out and see what they have for us. Indeed. The flurry of punches, indeed. And they they aren't slapping like the rest. They are really. No, this is a smaller way. So yes. This is how they, they, their punches will be. Yeah. But there is power in it. Beautiful boxing access tree here at the, the Bukum Boxing Arena. The penultimate fight on the bill, codenamed Jamestown Fights Night Road to Glory. And remember, you're watching us live on Facebook as well. Let your comments come in. Tell us where you're sending a comment from. And what do you think we can do to sustain such initiative? Win base boxing promotion put this together and powered by GTV Sports Plus. It's Mohamed Ni Ayikwe Ayete in the white trunks. Mohamed. 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 Mohamed should, should take care of what he's doing because he's using elbow on um, Isaac and the referee, the referee has warned him twice. He don't need to be warned again because if it do that again, I think there will be there will be that point for me. Yeah. Once again, referee says it is not a push down. And 
And once again, the bell goes in. Wow, energy sapping encounter. You know, we say kudos to Winbase Boxing Promotions for putting this spill together. Lights there. Just watch it again. The energy. Take it down. Take it out. Let's see what these pugilists have for the third round. So far, some debutants have given their very best. And I can see referee Roger Bano. Is she now stand warning there? He wants a clean fight. No cheating. Once again, referee Roger Bano having a tough time in the ring. He's still watching his life here on GTV Sports Plus. It's a flyweight contest. Mohamed Ni Ayikwe Ayete in the white, gold, and black trunks. Having the golden boy name. And Isaac Ayete. Let's see how the two. Once again. Three good rounds. Great initiative there. Both still determined to do each other. Indeed, Isaac Ayete came prepared because a debutant who really wants to give a good account of himself.
Interestingly, when you look at the two boxes, Isaac Kayete in the white and black trunks is 22 years old. Round four now. Let's see. What the two pugilists have. Sizing each other. Indeed, it's a give and take. The two are fast boxers. Let's see. Very, very close fight here. Good hook over there by Mohammed. Another good swerve there. What can the two do? And Isaac it just seems to still get a lot of energy and keeps coming in. He doesn't give up. Isaac doesn't give up. Another exciting round, very close to call. Now let's watch some highlights.
Let's see. Indeed, if Isaac has the steam and if Mohammed can continue. Indeed, Isaac is giving Mohammed a run for his money. Mohammed, I think Mohammed can continue the way you are seeing him to mm. so the end of the runs because that's that is the the way of style. He, he, he looks more conditioned. Yes, and and um, Isaac Aite also is also um, I think hundred percent fit. So he also can he also can continue the way he's doing to the end of the run. Great. And it seems Isaac wants to mount the unnecessary more pressure on him. He keeps going. Yeah. Keeps going. <laughs> He's always on the attack. Yes. And Mohammed, Mohammed also always want to go back for you to come and do what he, 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 he have to do. And so the style that you are seeing Isaac doing is how he, 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 he used to uh, fight. Mohammed also, the style that you are seeing is how he also used to fight. And so they are all doing their their own thing. Yeah. This is very good one. Indeed, very beautiful encounter. Great exchanges. No doubt moment. We are in the final round of an energy sapping one. Remember this fight is being brought to you by kindness. GTV Sports Plus being put together by Wing Base Boxing Promotion. Is that Jamestown fights night? Let's watch a recap. Some of the action. Isaac has a, a lot of energy in that he can continue this fight to mm. 12 rounds. Oh, 
Oh, this is a punch. The referee have to count because it is a jab that took Mohammed on his canvas, so the referee have to count. Still action packed here. Who really ends it on a high? Again, referee says no. Nice exchanges there. This Let's is a very see. good fight. I think I think Isaac has I, I think uh Mohammed has won this fight. Despite the cut? Yeah. He has won. He has won I think by 3-0. Wow. Yeah. Let's see what the judges will come out and say. We're still bringing you live proceedings here at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Let's go for some recaps again. Let's see. Right down. This was what you are talking about because it was a job. Strict that he had to sleep because he was accusing the floor of uh, yeah a water drop over there. Well, 
We will get a final verdict. Once again, the highlights on your screens. He kept coming. Isaac kept coming. He not intent to says, referee. Don't stop me. I have more energy. And so once again. Now we'll go for the verdict. From the ring of fridge. One more big round of applause for the two boxers. And after six rounds of boxing, we settle it on the scorecards. The cards of judges Shadrach Akwe, May Mensa Akako, and Clement Ashong, all read 60 55 for the winner by unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Boy, Mohammed. Ni a yikwe!